welcome back to another episode of Devon's Beekeeping and uh, today we are doing another inspection on a colony that I created this year that I think has the potential of being a production colony the queen has been doing a superb job with her lane and um, I just wanted you guys to have a look and see how she is performing for this year going into next year and I may even have to cut her back a little bit to show how much she is doing a superb job. So come on guys and let's get the episode started. Okay, so today the colony that we're going to be going into is A03. Alright, so this was full of sugar. <laughs> they absolutely devoured that. Full of sugar as well. And um, yeah, they pretty much used up everything there. Um, haven't been able to really do a full inspection for this colony in about three weeks. So I just want to see where they're at. Because I still expect her to snap back the nest somewhat. But let's see what's happening. Alright, so this is a frame that they're drying out for storage. Which is good. I'm already seeing these up to this frame. So they're definitely at the top. Alright, and another one that they have drawn down. This one, they haven't really started a nectar arch or anything. They just, really just started storing nectar in this. And the next frame down, I can see that they're pretty active on this frame. I'm seeing this one with brood, hatching brood. And same thing on this side, hatching out brood as well. Another thing as well guys, <laughs> so I just checked it and from corner to corner is filled with eggs like she laid this solid which is good but i'm expecting to see some stores and i'm not seeing any any more stores so i'm figuring that they may need some additional feeding because i keep checking and i'm not seeing any stores so they definitely need some more you know, this is a little bit of store that they got going on but not enough i think to sustain a colony of this size i was looking to see more arches so same thing on this side so this is just storage of nectar so far I would assume it's the sugar one thing as well with this colony guys i don't know they, they they have a tendency of being a little bit runny if you realize when i open the frame everybody pretty much running to the other side and then when i turn it back and you realize everybody start to run again running up here running all over the place i don't know why they're like this but yeah, they tend to be a little runny on the, on the frames and also this goes down into the box as well where they'll be runny all over the place 
when I open the box, you can hear them roar and running all over the place. I don't know why they're like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna go down into the brood nest because I haven't been down there in a while. Um, but I can already see that she's pretty up here already. But I just want to go down into the nest to see what's happening down there. So it seems that pretty much she's comfortable going up but not going across. I'm not seeing them starting to use this frame as well. But um, I think this frame needs to go over. It's a little bit on the um like a wrong placement of frame yeah this is more this is more work of work of frame so she will use that so for down here I'm seeing about one two three four five frames mm -hmm. down here so I definitely need to encourage her to go across and I saw what the problem was. There was a there was a honey frame that was in the center a while ago. Hence the reason why she didn't draw the, draw it across. But as, as you can see, for this one, they're working on it. And they've just started establishing a honey arch on this one. pretty much laid fill and hatching out and here she is guys right at the, the, the tip there so she run it just like them but I mean always doing a fantastic job and because I know where she is I don't really want to um be moving her around I want to put back this frame as gently as possible and again I told you this queen loves, loves to run. So I'm not seeing a lot of food stores in this box. Encourage her to draw out the best of and um, <coughs> put some more feed on this colony. <laughs>
Listen to that guys Look at what I'm talking about when I say running guys Look at that Or oh, they're just running from side to side After I probably tell them to go back down Alright guys so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do today for this inspection I've already ascertained that they're pretty low on food store, pollen and nectar like So I need to drop some more feed on them just to help them along um, Which I think may be my last feeding or may I may do another sec a second feeding after this one just for the rest of the season And then um, I've already seen where the um, plants are pretty much preparing for spring um, So it's just for me to help them to get to that point then I'll go through the yard and I'll do one generalized equalizing against some of the colonies that are stronger to help the weaker ones along and then from I do that then that's gonna be it for the season it's just for me to give them the space as they need it when we go into the 2021 uh, honey flow so these girls are pretty angry at me right now as you can see them flying over checking flying up in my veil and all this so um, I have to go through the apiary and check everyone else to see generally what's going on in the apiary as I stated I have been in this colony um, most of the colonies for the past three weeks due to the weather so this is just me playing catch up to see where everyone is at and then um, I'll you see me doing another video at that time so again guys thank you so much for watching and um, again if it's your first time to the channel give a like share comment and subscribe definitely appreciate it and thanks again for watching all right bye